Ladies and gentlemen, the amateur sommelier has finally come through for you. Hank brought a doggy. Bean, say hi. Hey, you You want us to get down, don't you? Okay. I'll let you down. Hurt? Ugh, there you go. Hi, Bean. Bye, Bean. All right. Now that I finally got the doggy out of the way, we had a problem. <sighs> this 2017 Chianti Classico Reserva Bonfi, well, uh, <laughs> the cork got stuck in there again. So, needless to say, the attempt to actually filter out the cork, there's cork even on my finger. Oh my gosh, this is horrendous. Yeah, it ended about horribly, as you can see. Uh, there is still quite a bit of cork in there. We're just going to have to fish it out. I should have gotten a spoon. Oh, well, don't care if we make it work. So, quite an unfortunate scenario that we have to deal with. Nonetheless, you may be asking me, why on earth are you doing Chianti when you're allegedly having steak for dinner tonight? I'll tell you. One, because I said so. Two, because I looked at the bottle label and I kind of liked it. And three, and quite frankly, Kirker, what are you doing? Hello, Kirker. Yay, Kirker. Where were we? Yes. Because I said so, I feel like it, and that's what we're going to do, and there's a piece of cork right there. I'm going to get you eventually. Let me know in the comments if there's a better way to filter wine out when the cork is stuck in there, because, yeah, uh, I got some work to do. And uh, that strainer only did so much. It wasn't even like a thin strainer, it was like a kind of bigger one. Very unfortunate, very sad. Nonetheless, where are we? I'm going to go purple in the core. Let's do... Lighting is not great. Oh, fantastic. There we go. Oh, oh no. Something happened with the doggy. Uh, ruby red on that rim. There we go with that. There's cork particles all in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 2017 is not going to have a cork tank problem and just break apart. Although I'm still using my manual cork remover because I don't want to open the new one up. And then move in like less than two months and have to pick it up all over again. Maybe I just need to learn to open bottles better. Maybe I should. Get better, bro. Or maybe just open the new one and be done with it. Do that too. Whatever. At any rate. Ooh. Yes, I see. Dark fruit characteristics, subtle hint of black pepper, earthy tannin structure, and clearly tell on the nose. Very, there's a good bit of oak. You can definitely tell tannin. I'm very excited for this, despite cork. Ooh, wow. If you asked me to put a uh, date on that, I would not say 2017 vintage. Very robust, hearty tannin. Very high on the scale, low acidity. <sighs> Medium burn going down the throat. Just the subtle hint of that dark fruit on the palate. It's very heavy in the tannin. It's very earthy. It's very robust. It is wow. I was uh, shooting down on this wine. Wow, this is actually going to be good with this steak, I feel like. This is a good steak wine. It's going to complement quite well. Not um, a wine I would recommend to somebody new to red wine. This is very robust. This is very tan. This is like, oh my gosh, my mouth is dry and I'm going to die. Kind of wine. Very not sweet. Very just, it's a no bueno for the rookies. I'm sorry. You're new. It's understandable. I was new. It happened. French wine is not great when you're new. I'm just saying. Okay? Especially like the hearty tannin 
robust wines like this one, it's not going to work. Go to Italy. Go to Italy if you're new to red wine. Actually, this is Italian. My entire argument just fell apart one instant. You know, that wine's getting to me. I think I'm just going to end that here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Finally got a doggy in. I don't know where the chunk is. The chunk has not been revealed to me. Oh, well. We'll try again for next video. Maybe we'll get him. Maybe not. Until then, enjoy.